Hello welcome all welcome in another important video and in this chapter we are looking into socket programming in a node.js in our previous video we saw how to use namespaces what is its importance we also saw example of namespace now here in this video we'll see another important concept about socket programming that is nothing but rooms so rooms is the concept which is really important because it fulfills requirements that you often required in creating games or maybe in creating real time chatting applications so we'll see how it actually works so as you can see here i am at socket.io documentation and socket.io given a really good example and explanation about how room concept works in a, in a sockets and as you can see they have also given you a diagram with examples so let's have a look into it so the first thing that we need to know about rooms is that rooms are nothing but arbitrary channel so what this line means is rooms are those type of channels which user can choose either he wants to join it or not it is completely optional if he wants to join it he can join it otherwise he just can simply skip it but the concept of room works on a server side you cannot create rooms on client side and ask people to join if any client wants to create a room he has to send request up to the server and server can create that room for a particular client and we have to implement that logic so that if any particular user wants to enter in that particular room he can make that request so it is completely event driven based and everything happening on server side okay so here they have given few methods with the help of that we can add any particular user or client into that room also we can remove that user from that room so this is really basic concept and you can relate this concept with social media groups where you create a groups and add members into that group and if you want to send any particular message you just have to send that message into that group so that people who are actually joined inside that group they can see that so in the same way we have to create rooms here in a socket programming and once the member join inside the room we can trigger events inside that room so that that particular event will be triggered to all users who are join in that particular room so let's see this in the action as you can see we have this code we use this code in our previous example so let me quickly modify a few things so if we don't need sum of this code so i'm going to comment events which we have created in our previous video we'll need this connection method we'll need this connection method so i'm going to keep this as it is and inside of the connection method we are, we need to create few custom e events so now here is my plan so whenever client will request to join particular room he can join it and we will implement such a logic where if multiple clients join it the clients who are already joined the room will get notified so that you will get to know that how this rooms concept works and how this event are triggering so let's see this in the action so let me quickly close all the terminals okay so this is our main terminal so now i'm going to create okay so now we have these two terminals ready with us now let's go inside the client.js file and as you can see here we have created some basic events so now let me quickly remove everything okay so the first thing that we will need to do here is we need to create a socket dot on and this event will get triggered as soon as any particular user entered into room so i'm going to give it a name joined room okay and inside of its callback let me simply put log client so let's give it let's give this client name as client1 because we are going to create multiple clients so that we should have something through which we can differentiate multiple clients so that's the reason why i'm giving this current client file name as client 1 okay 
एंड क्लाइंट वन इवेंट ट्रिगर्ड ओके विद द सेम वे वी हैव टू क्रिएट वन मेथड व्हिच विल सेंड अ रिक्वेस्ट टू द सर्वर टू जॉइन दिस करंट क्लाइंट टू एनी पर्टिकुलर रूम सो लेट्स से जॉइन राइट सो दिस पर्टिकुलर इवेंट विल ट्रिगर बट नाउ दिस इज नॉट द क्लाइंट साइड इवेंट वी हैव टू ट्रिगर दिस इवेंट ऑन सर्वर साइड सो दिस इवेंट शुड बी डिक्लेयर्ड ऑन सर्वर साइड सो दिस इज अवर सर्वर नेम स्पेस फाइल वी डोंट नीड दिस लेट मी क्विकली रिमूव सो दैट वी कैन अवॉइड कन्फ्यूजन हियर ओके सो नाउ दिस इज अवर कनेक्शन फाइल सो आई नीड टू डिक्लेयर जॉइन मेथड जॉइन इवेंट इन साइड ऑफ अवर सर्वर डॉट जेस्ट okay so the plan here is whenever any particular client will connect to our server he can trigger this join event and once he trigger the join event we can add that user in the particular room so in order to add a user into particular room we have a syntax if we go inside the documentation as you can see here there are some predefined methods through that we can join any particular user into that room so we are going to use the same thing there is a method called join and we can use this join method uh, and we have to provide name of the room so now let's give it a name room 1 okay so i think that should be enough let's go back inside of client.js file and here we need to trigger this event so i am going to give it some set time out so that we will get a little bit of time to to observe the changes so now i'm giving it 3000 milliseconds and after that socket can trigger event that is nothing but socket dot emit and the join okay so with this way so as you can see here this particular event will get triggered after 3 after 3 seconds and once the event triggered this user that is nothing but client dot js will get entered in this room and that room name is room 1 okay so let's quickly create few more client files so let's say client 2 dot js and let's create another one client three dot js okay i think that should be enough we'll create if we need more clients and the code will remain the same so i'm going to paste entire client js file into client two dot js as well as client three dot js okay so once we done with copy paste we have to change the console message okay that's it let's see this in the action I'll explain what actually happening here. If you are, if you have any confusion, I'll explain it in a while. Let's go with the flow for now. So node server dot js. So this is the way we can start our server file. Okay. So now let me create few more terminals. Will require four terminals. So we have these four terminals. Now let's execute our client file. here also client 2 dot js also client 3 dot js okay so what actually happened here is our client our server got crashed it is saying that socket dot on join okay so it is saying okay it's my bad instead of writing socket i have to use server here so whichever the name you have given in this connection parameter you have to use that name okay so let me restart our server again Okay, 
so now i have to trigger this event one more time it's not giving any message that means we are not able to trigger this event okay so i got the point is this is happening because whenever we create or add any member inside room so that member is getting added inside the room but we are not actually triggering this event so we have to trigger this event okay so in order to trigger this event we have to declare another event in server side let's say server dot on member connected okay and we have to use arrow function okay so now here is the thing here is the catch and here is the main concept of room so now if i want to trigger event in a room so that i have to use a syntax called server dot to you can see this syntax here in the documentation okay so i'm going to use the same thing so inside of two you have to provide a name of your room so it is going to be room 1 in our case and you have to provide the event name so now we have to emit that event and the event name will be join a room okay so this is the way we can emit any event in a room so let's quickly restart our server again and restart client file also okay so now here is another catch we have to trigger this event also so now this event will get triggered as soon as so we'll what we'll do here is we'll keep this event inside of timeout and we'll remove this event outside now what will happen here is whenever we will execute this file the moment at that moment this particular client will get joined in that room and after 3 seconds we will trigger this event which will trigger our event inside the client and it will indicate that which user has joined and an information like that okay so let's quickly do that so let's quickly port this changes into other files as well okay now we are done here now if i close all the files and now let me quickly restart each and every single file okay as you can see here we executed this client 3.js file first time so that's the reason why it got two messages because after that we connected two different clients and this client 2 message and this client 2 file got one message because after that we got we connected client 1 now this will get message once we created another client file or we disconnected one of this and we reconnected this then this will start showing that which client connected okay so now let's quickly modify something let's say let's give it a name client id just to differentiate which client connected we can use client id also so let's do that in all files okay so now while sending that join room request we have to send server dot id that's it okay so let's quickly 
restart everything. Now our server is running. Okay, so we start getting an output. So as you can see here, this is the ID of user who's connected as soon as we executed this file. So this client 2.js currently having this ID and client 3.js file having this ID. So we can see the same ID of client 2.js here also because we executed our client 2.js file before we execute client dot client 3.js okay so this is an advantage of using room so now here we took a simple example where we just sending information about which user has joined in that particular room you can also send a lot of other things let's say you can trigger a few more events which are common in every single client also you can broadcast some information within the client okay so this is really helpful thing because now you don't need to send now you don't need to trigger event of each client you just have to trigger one event and that event will help you uh, deliver your message up to the all clients all right, so that's all about room concept in socket.io. I hope you have understood this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.